Good afternoon, everybody. It is about 2 p.m. on Monday, May 1st, 2023. I'm Scott Mills with Lazy M Ranch, and this is part three of a video series. I'm about to install this nucleus colony of bees from Spicy Fly Honeybees in Tomball, Texas, into this Layens Horizontal Hive. So hopefully it will go quickly and easily. I am wearing a bee suit today uh, because I've never worked with these bees before and I don't know how spicy they're going to be. So better safe than sorry. They appear to be really calm today. It's a beautiful day, not much wind, beautiful sunny, clear skies. So hopefully they uh, are going to be uh, really calm and uh, you know good natured. I do have my smoker lit and we will uh, see how things go. I'll put on the veil uh, before I open the nucleus colony. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, just prep and, and uh, get started. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna set my smoker aside here. I'm going to take the lid off this hive. I'm going to move my follower board to give me just a little bit room to maneuver here. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to put some syrup in the feeder. This is just so that I will not have to do that later and we are good to go. Uh, and once I get the frames in, All right. Now once I get the frames transferred, I won't have to do anything but slide the feeder and the follower board over and won't have to spend any more time disturbing them than possible. I'm gonna move these adapters over to give me a little bit extra space. I'm gonna get my drill ready. And I'm gonna go ahead, get my veil on. Okay, all buttoned up. I'm also going to put some gloves on here. I, instead of using goat skin gloves today, I'm just going to use some nitrile gloves. Uh, quicker, easier, gives me a little bit more dexterity.
All right. Now, I'm not going to move the nucleus colony a lot. I'm just going to slide it out, untape it, open it up, and move the frames one at a time. It is full of bees. So there's a little bit of bridge comb between the first two frames there. So I'm going to just use my hive tool to pry them apart. That is a heavy frame of bees. Probably about two thirds of that frame on this side is covered with brood. About the same on this side. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to carefully set it up on the end here. Try not to crush any of the bees. So far as they are being very, very docile. I'm going to take my first adapter board here. Got a little bit of comb across the bottom of the hive here that is going to interfere with me fitting it in the frame. Okay? So. Because of that, I'm going to have to take my hive tool and I'm just going to have to come down here and I'm going to have to scrape this comb off the bottom here. Okay. Okay. Bees are still being really well behaved. Okay, that's what I want right there. I've got this frame. In this adapter. Okay. One screw.
two screws. Okay. Now, into their new home. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open the entrance for them now. Okay, entrance is open for them. 20% done. Let's keep moving on. Another really heavy frame. This one's maybe half covered with brood. On the rear side as well. Okay, same operation here. I don't have any comb to scrape off on this one. So this will go a little bit more quickly. Alrighty there, this frame was a little warped. You can see how there's a gap on the side. I had trouble getting it in, so the frame wasn't perfectly square. The actual frame bar, sidebar, is split a little bit. It's not a problem. Uh, uh, it will fit securely here. Um, and they will be just fine. Right, time for the third frame.
Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead, move the frames over, tighten them up. Okay, this other half of the hive will be empty for now. And there is a cluster of bees down here in the bottom. I want to check to make sure that my queen is not down in that cluster. It's not, but there's a small hive beetle. Looks like two or three small hive beetles. Okay, I am just going to leave this open and right here in front of the entrance and they will make their way up and into there hopefully. That is one nucleus colony transferred, all done. In their new home. And I'm gonna get to the other one and thank you for joining me. And I'm gonna check back in on these in a couple of weeks and maybe I'll film that and we'll see how things are going. I will update you if anything change. Please make sure you like and subscribe on whatever channel you find this because that really helps small uh, channels. The algorithms uh, really pay attention to that. Also thank you to Michael Hardman at Spicy Fly Honeybees. Thank you to the Magnolia Swarm Beekeepers Club in Magnolia, Texas. Thank you to Magnolia Bee and Supply for sponsoring that community. Bye-bye.